butterflies and moths to the mix. What is a hummingbird garden without the added dazzle of butterflies and moths? Quite simply, plants chosen to attract hummingbirds will often attract butterflies and moths too. The core of my butterfly and hummingbird garden is a large corridor of tropical sage, four feet by twelve feet, with plants every ten inches, a dozen butterfly bushes, and sizable patches of bee balm, butterfly weed, common and swamp milkweed, Joe pieweed, mist flower, phlox, Sedum, Brazilian vervain, Mexican sunflower, and a pond edged with pickerel weed. Pickerel weed. All this is interspersed with many other flowers, herbs, and volunteer weeds like Queen Anne's lace, lamb's quarters, curled dock, and flower. savor them. You'll first notice the big showy swallowtails, but actually most butterflies are tiny and easily overlooked. Be sure to take binoculars when you go out to enjoy your garden. Butterflies are easily flushed by movement, so be sure to look ahead at your flowers for visitors. A butterfly's camouflage is amazing and the naked eye can't be counted on to detect many of them. Binoculars are essential. A camera is fun too, but be sure to move in slowly and low so as to not cross over them with your shadow, and you might get an eye-popping photo or naked eye look. Most moths are active at night yourself on a moonlit night to a stroll through your gardens to see another world unfold as many of the flowers so attractive to, to, to butterflies by day are adorned with moths at night. By day you may see hummingbird moths in your gardens. The two species to expect are hummingbird clearwing and snowberry clearwing. Hummingbird clear wings are bigger, have red markings in their clear wings, and greenish bodies. Snowberry clear wings are a bit smaller and resemble bumblebees with their yellow and black bodies, camouflage key to their survival. They hover like a hummingbird before the flowers and are a fun addition to any garden. Unusual preferences. Quite a few butterflies and moths prefer feces, urine, and rotten fruit to flowers. Not owning any fruit trees, I buy pears, peaches, bananas, and watermelon to attract butterflies. In recent years, I've cultivated a relationship with my favorite farm stand. They now save their spoiled fruit for me. Watermelon is, is the easiest attractant. Place a flat slice on a plate, doling out new slices as the first dries out or gets moldy. Bananas have worked the best for me, and they're always available, but they aren't always rotten enough to attract butterflies. I've learned to peel and freeze them. Once thawed, they are nice and liquidy and immediately attractive to butterflies. My homemade 
species that might use a butterfly house. On a warm winter day, you might find morning cloaks or Compton tortoise shells lilting about, but as soon as the temperature drops, they'll return to their safe nook or cranny. By March, as the weather some of the butterflies that winter as an egg, a caterpillar, or a chrysalis are beginning to complete their metamorphosis.